Okay, so let's go into begin with the with the class. Está pequeñito, está pequeño o no? Pequeño, no está pequeño. Ay, perfecto. Okay, I have uploaded this document. This is practice number zero. As you see, practice zero. This is the one we are going to see. The in practice zero, what we are going to do is to explain. The, the first three parts of the of our report, okay? This uh, this first three parts includes the introduction, the uh, external analysis of the company, the pestle analysis, as I'm sure you have seen before, or at, at least we, we have heard about it. And we are going to explain the concept of key, and key marketing variables. This is there are three sections of the of the report. What we are going to do in practice zero is to explain you how to find sources to write these sections in the future, later. Okay, so what we are going to do is, today we, what we are going to do is, um, I'm going to try to explain you how to find reliable, relevant, and uh, useful sources of information. We are, you have a problem that I didn't have when I was young. When I was young, uh, Available information online was very restricted. Very restricted. Uh, if we, if I had if I wanted to uh, look for information to do a study, the best um, location was the library. Nowadays, twenty something years, I'm old, but much older than you. Twenty something years later, and you have everything online, but you have useful information and you have a lot of information that is crap. That is useless. Why? Because maybe the source, the one gathering the information is not reliable. You know, I'm sure you are very um, aware of the concept of the fake news concept. Mm -hmm. Fake news basically or usually are based on fake information. So there are a lot of institutions generating fake information. And we, we need to be aware of that. We, we need to try to look for reliable sources, sources that give us reliable information, updated information um, that we can recognize who is preparing the information. What is, if we find a report, what, what is the source of that report and so on. So we are going to see different types of information depending on the part of the report we're going to write. And I'm going to explain you some ways to gather information in this uh, in each of the sources. The first one is going to be the introduction, the second one, the macro environment or the pestle, and the last one, the key marketing and concept variables. As you see, there are sections of the report. What, we are, what I'm going to show you in these slides is basically the same that you have in the PDF, in the PDF of the report, of the practical session number zero. It's the same, but it's better organized, okay? so. Uh, let's see. Introduction. When we are doing a study, a marketing research study, any kind of marketing research study, we need to introduce the topic. We need to um, write a short section where we explain briefly what are we going to do in the study, because the study is going to be long. We need to convince the person to spend two hours reading this long report to explain what are we going to do, to explain why the study is interesting, why we are going to study this and this of that company. And also, if we are going to talk about one specific company to give some information about the company. So in these two, three, four pages, we summarize the important information. So in the introduction, uh, that is, I, I usually write the introduction at the very end of a study. When I finish the study, I write the introduction. But I, ha I have more or less in my mind the things that I want to put in the introduction. But the final writing is at the end. What kind of information do we need for to, 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 in, uh, to write this section? Well, information about the company. What are we going to do, all of the groups? What are we going to do throughout the course? We are going to do a qualitative market research qualitative marketing research of a specific company. We can say, for example, Hotel Maya, that is one of the hotel of Alicante. Uh, and we are going to analyze 
Specifically, specifically in this study, we are going to study two marketing concepts. The, the most important is going to be customer experience. <clears throat> So basically, we are going to analyze the customer experience, for example, of a person staying in Hotel Maya. If I choose this, you can choose whatever you want. There are going to be a lot of companies. Customer experience. But there are many ways to, add, to, to study this concept. It can be studied quantitatively, or it can be studied qualitatively. We are, what we are going to do it is from a qualitative point of view. OK? But apart from that, we are going to use another tool that is a customer journey map. that is going to help us to organize this experience. Dividing everything, the interaction, interaction of the individuals with the company before, during, and after the service. This is what we are going to do. And it's going to be very, very difficult, different because some of you are going to work in, in a hotel, other people in a restaurant, other people in any kind of service, depending on the sub uh, sector that you have been assigned to and the company you choose. Importantly, there are companies that are more difficult and there are companies that are easier. If you doubt, because you say, this company is great, I like this one, but maybe it's a little bit different, difficult, mail me before choosing the, 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 the company. Because I'm going to tell you, I recommend you this or that because of this reason. Because at the end, we need a company that um, provides enough information. If you find a very innovative company but it's difficult, you're going to work more. So this is important. In the introduction, imagine, as I told you, we consider hotel, one hotel, hotel, Maya, Alicante. As an example, we choose this and we want to study the customer experience by using also the customer journey map. In the introduction, we need some information about the company itself, the focus company, the, yes, the focus company, the one that is going to be the study. Competitor, competitors data. I mean, if we are talking about a hotel in Alicante, three-star hotel, so what are the competitors? Because we need some information. It's not the same doing a study of this uh, in a small town with two hotels and the closest hotel of another town, 40 kilometers, than in a city of Alicante, like Alicante with 100 hotels. So it depends. We need some information of the competitors and also some information about the sector. We are talking about hotel. So the hotel sector in Alicante, how is, how is now the situation, the prospects, the forecast, the, for example, how they, uh, they have uh, developed after COVID, the COVID crisis, whatever. And to study this or to analyze this, we are going to use newspaper articles or sectoral reports. Sectoral reports are very interesting because in any sector, there are associations or federations of companies or um, labor unions or any kind of institution that creates reports. And these reports are very useful for you because you are doing a study. If you find good reports, they are going to do part of the job for you because they are going to find the key elements and you can use these ideas in your projects and cite the, the, the reference. Say, okay, according to the report or whatever they have. So this can be very helpful. Finding good information is, very, is going to be very helpful for you. So how to find information about a company? Now we are going to open Google. If you want to do it with me, you can. If you have a computer, we are going to use beginning, we are going to use Google, for example, and imagine that I want to study, um, I want to find information about Hotel Maya. Hotel Maya Alicante eh, Información Financiera. For example, what kind of information? How many, um, how much money they, 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 what are the profits per year? the revenues, the cost, whatever, this kind of inf information in the last years. So I can put it in Google. And if I do this, usually what happens is that I find companies 
that provides me reports, financial reports of the of the hotel, but paying. One important thing I'm going to do now is this, the following. I'm going to move this down. I can eliminate this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to open. First of all, whenever you look for something on Google, you're going, you're going to have the, the the search. If I click on any of these, I lose the search. So to avoid losing the search, what I I know that is basic, but I click on the right button, open in a new window. So if I do this, it appears here, but the search is still there. And if I go here, as you see, they give me all the information. They have found the, the hotel, but you have to pay. Solicitary informant, you have to pay for this. Problem, you don't, please don't pay to do a study of the university, as long as it's not necessary. The same, a informant is a, a private company that gives you this information, but you have to pay as well. How to solve this? We are going to use Google as, as before, but we are going to use, as I told you in the slide, but we are going to go into the savvy database. So we all go here and we say savvy UA. Savvy UA, and we are going to go into a database similar to those, but registered by the University of Alicante. Free for you. So we go in, it identifies, we, we look for the, in the map, our province, and let me see, okay. we look for the, the University of Alicante, somewhere, should be somewhere, ahí. and the first, this is the first time, yes. If you do this in your computer, the first time you're going to select the, the, the and the second time it's going to be automatic. You have to put your name, You have to put your name, you confirm, and the system allow you to go into the database. And this is the database. I'm going to come back briefly to the slides, because in SAVI, this is SAVI, you can see that uh, we can do basic research by putting here the name of the company. If we are looking for only one company, and we can do more complex research using this part of the display. So let's go into uh, to the website of Savi, and we said, okay, let's go to see if we find information about Hotel Maya. Remember that the company's name, the official name, is not always the same. If you go to a restaurant and you say, this restaurant is called whatever, sometimes this is a commercial name but it's not the official name. So we need to, here you are going to have the official name. You can find in the website of any restaurant or whatever, if you look a little bit, you can find the code or the official name or what is called the CIF or the NIF. This is the fiscal number, the taxation number. So if you find this number, you can put it in this database and you can have the, but sometimes there is a difference. It's not the same than the official name. So Hotel Maya, we write, we select, and we find that there are three that have something, but one of them only is in Alicante. So our Hotel Maya is this one. We click on Maya and we have all the information that we need. The location, the owner, this is the place where it's located, Canonico Penalba, and this is the place where we can find information, where it's classified the activity they do. As you see, it's classified 6820, Alquiler de Bienes Inmobiliarias por Cuenta Propia, like um, real estate renting, because what they, they, they do is to rent rooms. They could be here or they could be hotels, but we identify this. This is going to be helpful to look for competitors later. And, the most important thing that I, that I'm sure you are interested in 
is the financial accounting, the data. This one, for example, ingresos de explotación, revenues. These are the revenues. Okay? So we see they have all the information since 2022 to last year. And they have some summary here, ingresos, resultados. Maybe it's possible to put this, this website in English. I'm not sure of it. But maybe if you look in somewhere, some, some place, maybe it's possible to put it in English. Um, because this, this company is a foreign company, it's not an Spanish company. If you want to download this information to do your own graph, tables, whatever, the only thing you need to do is to go to Exportar, Export here, up, click on Export, put the name, Hotel Maya, and in this way, you are going to, sorry. Oh, tamale. sorry. It's been recorded. I don't want to say bad words when it's recorded. If we do that, it takes a while to download and we have the information of the company, of our company. This is one source of information. There are some companies that for different reasons, they publish information in, in their website, in their corporate, have the company, corporate, they, they publish things. So this is great. If they publish information, great. But if you want to complement this information, savvy, and once you have the Excel, you can do whatever you want. Copy, paste, uh, create a table, anything you want. Let's see uh, if we go to, to um, the beginning, Inicio, how to look for competitors, for example, of this company. Well, I'm not going to find this company. I'm going to change a little bit. I'm going to give examples of different things for you to have more ideas. Imagine we want to do another group, want to do a study of a camping. These kind of places where you park or you know, where you have your tent. Okay, campings. This is also related to tourism. Okay, how to find competitors? The activity, Actividad here, location. If we say location, for example, city, and we say Alicante, could be Alicante or any other city where is your company. And you choose Alicante, and then it says, it says, in Alicante, down, in Alicante, there are 15. Uh, 517 companies in this database, all the companies. But if we are doing a study regarding campings, we are going to choose only campings. Imagine you say, okay, but for me, a competitor are not only the campings that are in Alicante. Maybe are the campings that are in Alicante, in Elche, and in Benidorm, for example. Okay, we can do that. We can go to location city, and we say Alicante, I choose Alicante, uh, we say Elche, and we say Benidorm, for example, this is a, just an example. So we have the three cities uh, chosen, and there are altogether 3,000 companies now. But we are going to consider only activity here in Actividad, classification of activities, only that are campings. And here you have a very long, huge list of activities, all the activities in the Spanish economy. If we are talking about restaurants, we need to look for restaurants. If we are talking about hotels, we need to look for hotels. We can open all of them, spend a lot of time, or we can also look in the code. And we can write here camping, to see if there is something related to camping. And it says, camping y aparcamiento para caravanas. There is one, five, five, three. So I choose this and I put accept, uh, aceptar. And they say, look at the information. In the cities, in all the cities we are uh, looking for, there are 3,000 companies, but only 17 are in the, those cities are our campings. So we have the 70s we want. And we, if we do this, we can see all the Pontesa competitors. Here you, you have the information. 
And there are, if there are many pages, you can look for the different pages and so on. You can download one by one if you want a specific information, or we can down, or you can choose all of them, select all of them. I'm going to select only some, okay? Because there are many, but you can select. Well, I'm going to choose all of them. To choose all of them, and you can go to guardar, to save, and you can download all the information. And also you can do more things with Savi. For example, you can create a map. It's an interesting way. You can say gráfico de empresas. And it creates a basic map of the different companies that you have chosen. In, in fact, they have only created two. The rest are not. I don't know why. Sometimes this, this happens. The location is only, I ah, know, because there are in Benidorm, there are many companies. If we go to Benidorm, it's in, in red because there are many companies. If we go to Benidorm, we can see that there are many campings. We open them up and we can see all of them. Okay, so uh, is it interesting? Savvy, it is. You can do more things. I'm sorry, let me see. We go to the list again. We can also analyze in group, compare companies. There are many things you can do in here with a group of companies. I'm not going to do it. You can try and see. I'm sure there is also the possibility to put the, the website here, personalizar. I'm sure that in some place we can put it in English, for sure. I don't know where, but... Uh, uh, the yeah. Aquí. Okay. Oh. Idioma, so English. If you are more comfortable in English, you can do it in English. Yeah. And you can try. You select the companies and try things. This is one thing, uh, savvy. But also we can go to Google. I can say, for example, campings in Alicante. Campings, if I write it well. And there are many, many uh, places. I can go to a website where they sell and we, I can find the map there. I can also go to Google Maps. For example, here, if I go to any kind of the um, resource could be helpful here. For example, sometimes Google Maps is better than, than um, than um, Savvy. Why? Because in Google Maps, you can see all the companies that are selling camping services. And what I want to mean with this, sometimes there are hotels, there are restaurants, there are other companies that they also have a camping. But legally, they are a restaurant. So they don't appear in Savvy. Can you see the difference? Because in Savvy, it only appears the companies that are primarily campings. So in this case, you can find the information and you can use, for example, may take a snapshot of the, of the competitors and locate, for example, the one, if you are doing the study regarding this, you can indicate that this is the focus one and this could be the competitors, for example. And you can do a, a small list of the competitor with average price, whatever. There are many ways to find information. We have seen some, okay? Companies data, competitors data, newspaper articles. So we can go to Google and we can say, camping, Alicante. If I do this, of course, the first thing that I'm going to appear are camping, are going to be pages where they want to sell me the services. But this is not what I want. I want to do a study. So what I do in this, in this case, I'm looking for newspaper uh, news that could be helpful to understand the sector, whatever. So I can go to noticias here. If you have your computer in English, it's news. And here you can find some information in terms of articles. 
And this is important because newspaper articles give you news, current news, what is going on in the sector. It's going to give you a lot of useful information. Once again, if we are doing this, um, we can open different news, for example, to see if some of them are useful or not. And we can read them, imagine. Alicante Plaza. Here they are talking about a new camping, whatever, one news. I read the news. The important thing when we are talking about an article, um, newspaper article is the source. This is the, the name of the newspaper. The date, very important, because it's not the same uh, reading a, a news from 2010 than 2023. And of course, reading the article. And imagine we, you are working in groups. How to share the article with the others? Of course, you can copy the link and it can be done. You can open whatever you want. But if you want to have everything in the cloud and without opening one and ones and one, you, what you can do is to print this in PDF. Print in PDF. So in this way, what you are going to find, you are going to have a, a document of this. And you can share this document with, the, your, the, with your classmates. You can underline, you can make comments, whatever. So let me close this and we can go again to the news. Well, uh, what happened if I'm, I'm going to put, for example, El País? This is the name of the most important newspaper in Spain, El País. Imagine that I find um, one article that for me is interesting. I don't know. Um, I'm going to try to open one that it, I can open. Let me see. So, so you know some, that in the in general newspapers in the last times, most of them have some open uh, news, but most of them are closed. What happened if I go to this and I found a very interesting article to, that, that, it, that I can use and I cannot read it full? Well, here I can because the university is subscribed. But if you are home, maybe you can read the first three lines. So this can be helpful. How can I find this information? Once again, the University of Alicante. The university pay for the subscription. So you can go to Google and you can go in Google, uh, periódicos in Spanish, UA. Newspaper in Spanish is periódico. If you do, if you do this, periódico, you can go to the University of Alicante and here you have all the different newspapers that the university have agreement with. So you can go in, put the words that we are going to see. Sometimes what you have to do is to go into the newspaper in the university, even with the Wi-Fi in your computer. If you do it, you can open. In some other situations, what you have to do is to put a username and a code. In any case, you can. So let's think about, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, Diario Información. Here we have one that is uh, from Alicante and has some, um, some um, passwords. So here you see, this is the most important Diario uh, newspaper in Alicante. We open, and as we see, user code, password. And the university give, give you the user code and the password. So we copy, paste, and we are in. The only thing you need to put are the keywords. If we know, for example, if we're in El País and we have the title of the article we want to read, we can copy the title and put it there and it's going to be. But if we want also to search for article that could be interesting, I can do it. For example, camping, turismo, Alicante, for example. And it says, the beginning, when you want to begin, uh, for example, in 2018, and until today. And you are going to find all the different 
article that could be related. In this case, un suplemento in 2022. Um, as you see, in general, the articles, it doesn't seem very appropriate, maybe because of the words. This one, for example. Camping. Los camping de moda. Aumenta un 14% de sus turistas en tres años. This could be interesting if you are doing something about camping. I, and maybe you, you have to pay for this if you don't go this way. So you can download it and you can use it. The same happened with the rest of the, of the newspapers. In some cases, the only thing you, you need to do is to go here. Uh, for example, El País. If you are in the university, like this, comp this, this computer, and you open El País, you are going to be able to read everything. There's no code. You need to be in the university. The ones that have a code are those that allow you to, to, to connect from your home. So this is another way to find articles. And another interesting kind of document that are useful, very useful, are the sectoral reports, the professional reports. I mean, for example, which kind of institutions do this kind of sectoral report? For example, ministry, any kind of ministry. Regional administrations, Valencian community, ayuntamiento, uh, the town hall of the city, also, they do this kind of reports. Why? Because they, these reports allow understanding one sector and also uh, helps the professionals in that sector. For example, in some week, in a couple of weeks, we are going to, uh, to invite a professional that is going to uh, give a talk about customer experience, customer journey, etc. He has a he has a consultancy, and they are in charge, for example, of barómetro turístico de venidor. Barómetro turístico de venidor. This is a, a study. Que, a, a study that analyzes tourism in venidor, in general and also specifically. And uh, if we find these kind of reports are very useful because they spend a lot of time to analyze how is the sector, what are the problems, the opportunities. So we can read this kind of report. This is a summary of the report. And they, this gives you a lot of information about many things, about uh, the situation, where it's located, the time of that type of tourism, type of tourists that go to the city, the behavior. So many things you need to do the study, you can find it in reports. It's going to find more reports in Google, for example. We can say um, hotel tourism spe Alicante report. If I put this hotel tourism Alicante report, it's going to find, now it's in news, sorry. We are going to Todo, vale? If I only put this, it's going to find documents or websites that have these words. But if I want a report, a report means information, not a website. It means a, a, a long report with information that I can use. One thing that I usually use is a type of document that I like or I want to have. Reports are usually PDF documents. So if I put PDF, it's going to give me the search with these kind of documents. And I find one from INECA, that is an institute of an economic institute in the province of Alicante, that strength of the province of Alicante. So now the, 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 it's, it's time to look for the date. And it's interesting. INECA. INECA is. El Instituto, bueno, de Análisis Económico of Alicante. So it's a, it's a um, recognized institution. Also, if I want to look for the year, sometimes the year of the report is in the first pages, but sometimes it's not. One way to know the year of a report is when uploaded, they uploaded the report. 22, 2020, 02. They uploaded this report on February 
2020. I'm sure if I read the report, the whole report somewhere, I'm going to find somewhere at the end, probably, I'm going to find the year uh, somewhere. But this is something we are going to do later. So this is a report that could be useful. I download the report and try to find information. And we can find more reports. This is a re research gate. Sometimes, for example, we have other kind of uh, resources. This is, for example, is hotel efficiency necessary? It is an article, an academic article. Well, it's not exactly a report. Um, tourism leisure in modern Spain. This is a, a, a study of the University of uh, Complutense de Madrid. Sector report, CaixaBank, this is a bank. There are many reports. When you are looking for sources, you have to spend time. Look and look for and look for this card. This is interesting. This is not. Because when you look for information, most of the, of the information is not going to be used. You have to spend time. Uh, also, an, an important thing is that if you are doing a study in Spain, for some sources, it's better to look for in the keywords for Spanish words. You are going to find more. Sometimes. This is the other report I told you. The CaixaBank, in this case, is more related to real estate. So we, we are interested in a different type of, of, of company. It could be also useful. Um, apart from a report, we also could be interested in data. How many hotels, how many people come, when they come, where they come from, whatever. So figures, they, statistical data. So you can say uh, figures, data, statistics, statistics, for example, and it's going to drive you to websites where you can find the information. Statista is one of, of it. The problem of Statista is that, that the company, that the information there is uh, private. So you are not going to, you can copy this, but you are not able to get access to the data if you don't pay. But everything that you can find in Statista doesn't produce any data. They take information from other sources and they prepare tables, graphs, and so on. So if this information is in Statista, you can find this information uh, elsewhere free. It's just go into Google and look for it. Uh, here we have another, INECA, as I told you, this is not statistics, uh, tourism or the, the European Commission or Spanish statistical information, the INE, statistics on tourism movements, whatever. This is called, was one survey that is called Frontur Egatur. There are many sources where we can find information. Once again, if you look for this uh, data in Spanish, at least the keywords is going to be easier. Usually, the, when you go to the website, most of the website, website allow you to put it in English. But at least to look for the website, you, you should do it in Spanish. So we, can, we know how to look for Company data, newspaper articles, sectoral reports. As I told you, newspaper articles, here you have on the, on, the, on the slide, what I told you to look for news, put the keywords and look open and try, try to find. Uh, the next one, sectoral reports. In this, in this example, hospitality industry Spain, report PDF. And the second part of the, so we have finished more or less with the introduction, but the same sources can be used for the pestel analysis. Uh, in the pestel analysis is the external analysis of the company. And in this case, as the, 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 the studies uh, or the instructions indicate, we need to do a pestel analysis. Analyze external factors of the company, so if we have Hotel Maya, external factors of this hotel that can affect 
positively or negatively their activity. For instance, the government. We have political, economic, social, technological, environmental, legal. There are many factors. We can analyze, you can analyze them all independently or you can put some together. I don't care. The same sources, we can use the same sources. What kind of things we are, are, are we looking for when we talk about pestle analysis? This is what we are looking for. Political, legal, economic. I mean, let's think about this. Hotel Maya Alicante is a hotel that is located physically in the city of Alicante. If we are talking about political issues, you can think about the government of Spain. Some people say, in Spain, the president is called whatever. It belongs to this party that is more uh, left than, than, than right. My question is, if you are paid to do a study, do you think that this information is useful? I mean, that the client want to really want to have many pages in the report explaining the national government? Because at the end, a restaurant, a, a hotel, a camping, the regulation that restricts or uh, facilitates the activity of these kind of local companies are town halls or are regions. The national government had little influence on that. So it's more important if we talk about political issues, what, what is the mayor of Alicante City? Because the decisions of the mayor are going to affect more the hotel than the president of the, of the, of the country. So this is important. Why I say this? Because for example, having a hotel in Alicante is completely different than having a hotel in Benidorm. Because Benidorm is everything can be done. There are no limitations in any kind of thing. Why? Because the town hall of that uh, city from the 60s, 1960s, they have decided to do it that way. So the local government is important what they do, what they don't do, whatever. Political, economic factors. And here in the economic factors, of course, we are talking about the inflation, unemployment. These things are important. But imagine that I'm a hotel in Benidorm. In Benidorm, 60, 70% of people going to Benidorm are foreigners. And of those foreigners, 50% are British. British, or I'm going to include an Irish. So, from an economic point of view, it's not that important to analyze, for example, unemployment in Spain than to analyze things that are going on in, in Great Britain. Because who are the people, key people coming to this country, to this location? British. If there is a problem in the exchange rate, because the exchange rate boosts, it's going to be more costly to British to come to Spain than going to whatever, and they are going to go other way, to another place. This is what I want to mean. For example, uh, Torre Vieja. In Torre Vieja, there are not many British people compared to other locations, and there are more people from other countries. So are there foreign people? Are there specific things that could be affected in terms of economic? So you have to think about the place, the type of product, whatever. If we are talking about, for example, a high, very high income restaurant, you choose, we, I like this restaurant. Do you really think that a very high income restaurant is going to be affected, very affected by unemployment? General unemployment of the economy? This kind of restaurants cost 200, 250 euros per person. A poor person is not going to come now or even in a good time. Can you see my point? My point is, it depends on your company, the target group of your company, etc. The analysis is different. Social issues. For example, if we are talking about hospitality, there are many social issues that are important. Very important. For example, in this, if we are talking about hospitality in Spain, uh, the idea that hospitality us usually are group things, large groups, interaction in other countries is different because of the weather, because of whatever, the culture. Technology, when we talk about pestle, 
uh, in technology, we are talking about, are there any kind of improvements or innovations, technological innovations that other companies have and we don't? And can be, if we adopt these this, uh, innovations, it can be an opportunity. But if we don't, it's a threat. And it depends on the sector. If we talk about Hotel Maya, for example, any small hotel, maybe they are not present in this kind of tour operators, eat dreams, whatever. This, they are not. This is a problem because they are losing some kind of distribution. Or for example, if we talk about hotels, the use of virtual reality to show the rooms and the facilities. There are some host, uh, hotels that are doing this. Is it useful? It can be an opportunity to sell better your service. No, these are technological factors, environmental, legal factors. Environmental issues can be, for example, if we are talking about a, for a restaurant, fast food company, the idea that they are going to forbid, I think is forbidden uh, now, uh, they are going to forbid the forks and everything in plastic. So this is a problem because this was very cheap compared to the new versions in wood that are more expensive. Or the, well, there are many things that can affect in the different levels. In this first practice, what I want you to do is to choose a company and to start looking for ideas, for factors in, in each of them. If, for example, you find two, the political and the legal, you say, we, in our case, political and legal, we find them very similar. So you can put them together because at the end, the political uh, agents are the ones usually that write the law. So, or sometimes you say, in our sector, the environmental and the legal are very close. You can do one section instead of two. No problem. In this first pra practice, you have two weeks to look for sources, not to write everything. What I want to say is, okay, write in a word uh, paper uh, the different sections and put me uh, sources that you think could be useful. And I'm going to help you to choose which are or not, and also to recommend you new ones. And later you are going to write. And finally, the, the last section of the, of the study or the, or the report, the last re, re, revision or review section is called key marketing concepts and variables to measure. Once we, you have done the introduction and the pestle analysis, the, the next thing you, you need to do is to study this, basically. I'm going to explain this in class. Carlos Mora, that is the professional, the first professional we are going to bring to, 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 the, to the class, he's also going to explain this from a, uh, an applied point of view. But you need to find other studies, handbooks, and I said business studies, manuals, handbook, academic articles that analyze this in your sector. So to say, okay, we are going to study customer experience. Customer experience in the tourist sector or whatever is defined as this source. Uh, examples of these are these, this and that. The customer journey map, an example in the... So whenever you finish this, you are in a position to propose a study. So in this last section, we are going to use different types of uh, sources. So let's see, for example, manuals, manuals and books and handbooks. Once again, there are many ways to do it, but I'm going to the University of Alicante, Google, and I said, biblioteca, sorry, biblioteca, what? library. I'm going to put, to put it in English now. Here at the top, English, the university library. So important, the university have a lot of libraries inside the, the university, but um, there are many, many books that are useful that are in paper. 
But in the last years, the university is acquiring a lot of uh, resources online. Why is better? Because you can have all access at the same time, for example. If we have only one book, it's, it's either you or you. If you are with a book at home, and not another person cannot use it. So let's go into use the catalog and to see or to search a little bit. Customer experience. And there are, and it's going to give me all the information, all the different documents that have these two words. And they are going to be useful things and also useless. The first thing I'm going to do is to, let me see, identify myself here. Because with the user of the university, the one that I have used before. Because if, if I find something that I can download, it's going to allow me. OK. So the first thing I'm going to do is to, well, I think the, 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 the language also, idioma de la pantalla, that's going to put English. OK. So here we have everything. But there are too many things. The first thing I'm going to eliminate is, for example, I'm going to resource type. I'm going to look for only books. Apply filters. OK. Um, mm, 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 mm. OK. Uh, <clears throat> library, language. Well, language I imagine that is in English. But here we are. The customer experience book. How to design, measure, and improve the customer experience. It could be good because maybe we can have a lot of definitions, what things to measure, how to measure them. I can download this available online. So I can click on the resource and I go to the, to the, to the book. If my institution is not here, that in fact is not because usually it's not, you can put institution not listed and you can put uni, no, your mail of the University of Alicante. And it's going to find that the University of Alicante is registered. It's not in this list, but is. So it's going to allow you to download or whatever. Here there you have the book. So you have to find somewhere the way to download. I don't remember the word is, but you can download somewhere in PDF, usually. Um, and the same for the rest. Manager, managing customer experience, customer experience for dummies. Uh, I taught this last Friday in the Spanish group, and I told them, uh, you are unlucky. They're, they are unlucky because most of the newer books are more useful are in English. So, good for you. So, here you have, I'm going to keep open this catalog of the university because I'm going to Google again to, to look for, for books, for example. And I say, for example, customer experience. Now, I'm going to do something. I'm going to put commas before and after. If I put commas before and after, what I do is, I'm telling the algorithm to look for these two words together. Because if you look for customer experience and it finds a document with customer somewhere and experience late, very far, it's going to give me. But I want something that has both uh, words together, customer experience. And I said, for example, handbook, PDF, I can look for books in Google that could be very useful. Customer experience book. This one, as you see, is the one we, we saw in the university, the first one that I opened. And you can see if you find different books, 
by, by um, that these books, books can support this part of the study to you because you can cite according to this association the elements that conform the customer experience are this, this and that. But the, the, the other authors or another um, school consider that there are this, this and that. And you re revise three, four and you came up with your own. In our case, we are considering to include this, this, and this. I'm explaining just how to look for, for, for sources. We are going to spend the whole semester step by step doing one by one. Just I'm showing you just how to look for. And the last one are academic articles. Because imagine you are doing a study of customers, customer experience, customer journey map, and restaurants. Many of these reports are more general and not so specific. So if we want to, to start to find three or four or five studies more specific, it's better to go to Google Scholar. And this is the last thing we have for today. We want to go to Google Scholar. It's a different type of Google. And we can put customer experience, In commas, for example, customer experience, um, hotels. And if we do this, we are going to find a lot of studies that analyze customer experience. But customer experience can be analyzed from a quantitative point of view, numbers, or qualitative point of view. And we are going to do it qualitative. So if we want to polish, to refine this search, you can put qualitative. And it's going to find studies that are closer to our study. Of course, there are going to be thousands. You need to open them. This can be useful. This is not. Um, um, customer, sorry, Google Scholar. Here you have the, site, the number of sites. This, this study has been cited by 75. So it's a relevant study, we can say. There are other studies with less citations or other studies with more citations. This is one important element that can give you an idea if this study is interesting or not. In the report, you are going to cite this study. I'm going to explain this later. So you can copy the way it should be cited. We are going to use the API, the American Psychological Association. And we can open, of course, the, the study. Abrir en pastella nueva, we can open it. Recite for achieving customer loyalty, a qualitative comparative study of the dimension of customer experience. Look at this, dimensions of customer experience. This is what we are going to find to measure different dimensions. Could be useful. We can read it, whatever. And if we are interested, we can download it. If we are in the university, it's going, it's going to allow me downloading more papers. Uh, if it, we are outside, it's, many are going to be, uh, you have to pay. So if you, if you are at home and you cannot download, uh, save the name and the citation, and whenever you come to the university, try in one of these computers. And this is it. I know this first class is not, not an easy one because um, I'm trying to explain you the way how to look for information when you haven't seen the whole picture. I know that. So, uh, but I wanted to do it now because in today I know you have a minimum level of, or, or you have a minimum ability uh, abilities to look for information. Now it's time for you one to create the groups. If you have a piece of paper, you can also, I'm going to do it easy. Instead of send, have you sent me a mail, everyone? No? Okay. If you don't have, you can write in a piece of paper and you can give me the piece of paper now. If not, please send me before eight or nine. Send me and afterwards you can go to have a beer or whatever. 
because I don't want to put you in a group that you don't want to be. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it at the end with two or three, but. Uh, and in these practical sessions, we are section we are going to use. Well, this is the the practical. The practice is the same than the PowerPoint. And at the end, it says the dates. As usual, in the practical, in the practices, how we are going to submit the practices always by using UA Cloud uh, evaluation. I'm going to open a task for you to do. And it's going to be open from today till Sunday, February the 19th. So as soon as you give me the names of your mates, I'm going to publish. And you are going to have more or less two weeks to do this until in two Sundays. So, and you have to do a draft of the, the different sections we have seen. The section one, section two, and section three. With different sources that you think can be useful for your, but I need to, to know at the, at the top of the company, what is the company? So before beginning, you need to get in touch with me and say, these are the companies we are considering. I need to validate your company. As soon as you have it, you can start. Send me the draft. You have to upload the draft to Evaluacion. If you are three in the group, please, I, I upload only one. It says, this is the group, Maria, Juan, whatever, only one. Um, and the assessment, usually what I do with this practical session, this and the next ones, and the followings are zero, 0 0.5, and one. I mean, if you have tried to do all the things we have done, found different, it's not necessary that it's perfect. But you have tried, I'm going to do a one to all of the groups, at least a 10. No problem. If I find that some group have done the minimum and they have missed a lot of things because they have spent one evening doing the practical session, I'm going to give a 0 0.5. And if it's very, very poor, I hope it's not, but very, very poor, it's a zero. I don't give zeros usually. I don't remember. But it can be 0 0.5 because there are people submitting very bad practices, very, very bad. So two weeks to do this. Next class, we are going to do next week another. So please send me the mail. Uh, today I'm going to give, me, give you the subsectors. And if in two days you can have the company, we can go in. Thank you for coming. And I'm going to post this later to, for you to, to have this information. Thank <laughs> you.